Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gaming. I'm going to be doing a couple of the, more of these videos uh, showing off the uh, AJ, I'm sorry, AJ, funny, funny, funny. It's early in the morning, guys, okay, the brain's not working properly. The Future Tech 47 AG uh, versus a uh, high professional screen paint. Now, mine is screen paint that I have coated on this wall is not a do-it-yourself hobby kit paint. It's a professional screen paint. I bought it on Amazon for around $300 a gallon and decided to coat the entire wall just to give you the full effect to see on a professional level um, how the 47AG outperforms screen paint. Now, um, one of the things I want to explain to you guys about projectors. And when you have a projector that is running 4,200 lumens, 5,000 lumens, I've seen them at 6,000, even 10,000 lumens, and that projector is sitting between 11 and 12 feet from the screen. At this particular point, we call this overkill. And because it doesn't make a difference, when that projector hits that surface, it's gonna look, a screen's gonna look amazing because you have a 42, not to put anybody on blast here, but you have a 42 or let's say 5,000 lumen projector at 11 feet away from a screen. It reminds me of a demonstration that I saw with a particular company, can't say the name, but you know when I say the abbreviation, you know who they are, BD, had this projector that sat on the floor, was the size of a coffee table. This thing sat four inches from the screen, it was an ultra short throw at 10,000 lumens. Man, you could hit anything with that and it would still look amazing. So basically for me, if I'm going to be using a projector, and I will have projectors in here uh, that will be 6,000 lumens. Um, I would have it back at least 25 to 30 feet back because it's just too easy if you have a projector of that high caliber and then you have it at 11 feet away from the screen that's pretty much overkill right there it's just too easy of a demonstration as I start using um, when you have when before we do the short throw demonstrations we have to do it on long throw to show you the distance that the screen is still going to carry a perfect picture even at long throw, it's going to look the, look the same way as short throw. It's going to look the same way if it's on a 100 inch compared to being on a size of a screen that's going to be 200 inches. So it still has to be the exact same screen depending on how you set it. But like I said, if you're using a 42 and up uh, projector, even 3000 lumens and up, and you're doing that in a dark environment, majority in dark environments, that is pretty, pretty easy. That's very, very easy. Now, in this demonstration, I showed you guys my Casio projector. This is lamp free. This projector right here is a DLP projector. Also, too, it's laser and LED hybrid. Pretty cool, huh? And we're at 2,500 lumens. We are about, I say, about 11 feet, 11 to 12 feet away from my screen. Um, I got my door open, so I got some light cascading in. Just that insult to injury, I added a spotlight there in the corner and a spotlight there. So we have plenty of light on the screen. Now our screens are using Smart Technology Game Times 5. You don't have to have 4200 lumens <laughs> in order to, to, to get the screen to look nice. And that's one of the problems you have with screen paint. Because screen paint is a very... The technology we figured out when we did it side by side to our own technology. This is how we figured this out. Um, that basically screen paint comes out dull next to our technology comes out dull it comes out um uh dirty and it doesn't make a difference if you have a high-end projector it still reacts the same way it still comes out dull it still comes out dirty now mind you i'm doing this on 2500 lumens and this is a professional high grade screen paint all right this is we chose the contrast grade because it's the best that they had and we're hitting this with two spotlights and the outdoor light and you'll see even at 2500 lumens our screen is still gonna look fantastic and that screen paint's gonna look dull and dirty. All right, so let's begin our demonstration right now. We'll do some of this with the lights on and lights off for some of you people who wanna see it with the lights off. All right, so there we go. And let's begin. Sound bar in. I think I got it too loud. It's around seven o'clock. I have neighbors, so I'm not trying to get, you know, disrupt anyone's peace. And as you can see, even with the door open, at, we're about 12 feet back from the screen. Look how beautiful our picture quality looks. Now this just shows you from our technology, you do not have to be in the dark.
Now as you can see, we're not losing any form of picture quality whatsoever. Look at my screen, look how fantastic that looks. And we don't even need 4,200 lumens. We don't even need 5,000 lumens. I watch a lot of these demonstrations with these big companies and they will use these insane projectors and the projectors will be literally sitting right up on top of the screen. Now you're hitting the screen with that much power, that, mu that much power when it comes to lumens in a dark environment. What do you think the screen's gonna look like? At this point, the projector is doing all the work and the screen's doing nothing. So if you were to take that same screen, put it in your environment, and you hit it with something, your, your projector, it's gonna fail. It's not gonna come out looking the same. That's what you call the smoke and mirrors. That reminds me of, you know, women talk about how they go out and they buy a dress that looks fantastic in the showroom, but the minute they get home, it doesn't look the same. That's pretty much the same scenario what you're getting. And look at that, we're doing this fully lit environment. Doors open, I've got ambient light coming in. And you look at my screen, look at this. Now I'll have, I'll have a few projectors from time to time that will grace me that I'll have a um, 6,000 lumen projector. But when I get a 4,000 or 5,000 lumen projector, I guarantee you bar none, that projector will not be sitting at 11 feet from my screen. I plan to pull that thing back at least 25 feet every time. There's just no point, it's too easy has to be a challenge there. There's no challenge there. There's no point in me doing the demonstration. It's a waste of my time. Now, for those of you that are going to say, well, you know, you're using this on a laser projector, a laser slash LED DOP hybrid projector. Let me explain something to you. I have videos of the 47AG on an NEC VT595 projector at 19 feet back. I have demonstrations on a DOP projector at 3,000 lumens. Not even as advanced this screen because the, um, the, um, the, the laser projectors are much more brighter, much more vivid. They get a much more better picture. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pause it about right there because what we're going to do is I'm going to put the projector in blank mode right here okay now we're going to come over here and we're going to move some stuff out of the way see my lamp with it take off our lights here because for those of you who want to see this demonstration with the lights out we'll go back a bit in the video and show you the demonstration with the lights out now also too, I want to make some announcements really quick for you guys. Um, we are going to be reducing the price of the blackout cloth. We're going to bring the price down lower for you guys. Um, we just, just as a way of saying thank you so much for supporting our company, uh, we're going to bring the price down. Actually, a um, one of the screens, actually the blackout cloth, 116.9 um, platinum uh, 4K cinema, which is an amazing screen. I'm also going to hit that with that laser projector, also laser slash LED projector. Show you how amazing that screen's going to look. Um, we're going to um, we're going to bring that down to around 100. It's going to be around 288 dollars. So we're gonna bring that down a bit and the 120 inch. Um, we've already took $100 off of the platinum screens. These are the fixed frame screens, 120, 100. Um, we also have a new size we're bringing in for the Immerse. We're bringing in a 175 inch screen. Woo -hoo -hoo. And guess what? I'm not gonna to say too much about it. I'm gonna say it anyway. We have a curved screen coming out, a 235.1 curved screen coming out very soon for the Immerse, very, very soon all right so let me get over here and get this started real quick let's take our projector off blank mode right there okay oh just to add you know for some people want to say you know about the i had some people saying we overkill on the lights 
The reason why we overkill on our lights is because our screens have to pass a certain amount of, of tests. If they look fantastic. Okay, real quick, they look fantastic in a well lit environment. Just imagine on, on our, pretty well, if it looks fantastic on our extreme lighting, just how I imagine it's gonna look in yours. Now we have the lights out now. Now the reason why a lot of these, these screen paint, people who design screen paints, will lean toward these high-end projectors. And you notice when we did our demonstrations with our screen paint, we use low entry level projectors. I was using the NEC VT595 projector, which is a very low entry level projector on my screen, and it was still blowing out a DMP supernova, the Elite screen, all the Dark Star, Dark Star 9, and so forth. That shows you how advanced our screen paints are. Now let's swing over to the technology we have now that's more advanced than our screen paint, and this is what you get. Look how fantastic that looks. Like I said, the screen paint I chose is not a do-it-yourself. Um, it's, it's not a do-it-yourself kind of uh, screen paint. This is a patent product. This is a product that sells on Amazon. It is a very um, um, good screen paint. I was going to say it's very good. But next to our technology, it just cannot hold a candle to it. And as I said before, it doesn't make a difference on how high caliber your projector is. 4K, laser, short throw, long throw. The bottom line is when you hit your screen paint, or any other screen, because we actually the AG47 has blown out a couple of the top screens on the market, that's what you're getting. But with our screens, this is what you get. A clean and perfect, beautiful picture. This is what your picture is supposed to look like. You gotta ask yourself, am I getting the best from my projector? Am I getting the best from my investment? Am I seeing the best picture possibly that my projector can give me? Kind of reminds me, you know, if you have like a window and there's sunlight coming through the window. And you can barely see it until you take a rag and you wash a part of that window. When you wash a part of that window, you can see the sun coming more vivid. You can see the outside, um, a scenery much more better. It's cleaner, it's better. That's what our technology does. That's my noisy uh, um, laptop back there, which pretty soon I'm going to be taking down and getting fixed very, very soon. I think tomorrow I'm taking it down to get fixed. I think there's something wrong with the fan. That's the grinding sound you're hearing. But just look at this right here. Look at this. Look compared to our technology compared to the screen paint. And here's the thing. The problem you're going to have with screen paint is if, you, if it's too light, then the colors are not going to pop. The uh, it, the colors are not going to pop, and the it's going to look um it's going to look washed out, and it's going to look faded. So we're just having a little small technical difficulties with our internet right now. But like I said, you know, if the if it's too light, the colors are not going to pop. It's going to come out looking bland. It's going to come out looking washed out. Especially if you do something like this, and you throw your lights on. Now. This is a gray screen. This gray screen is a high contrast screen. It's going to take in more light. It's going to be to maintain a better picture than a light gray screen paint. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to paint half this wall in different colors of screen paint and just show you what I'm talking about here. But that's what you're getting. So people lean toward a darker contrast. We designed the, uh, uh, the dark silver darker because it basically can produce richer and better colors because it's a darker screen. You know, it's going to cancel out 10 times more light than a light screen. So, if you go with a light screen, people are thinking that, well, if I get a light screen, maybe it, it'll, be, it'll be able to take out a 47AG. No, it's just not. And 47AG literally is going to turn that screen black when it lands against it because the screen produces that much light. That's my noisy projector back there. Not noisy projector, I'm sorry, noisy laptop. Hold on for a minute. Let me pause this for a minute. That is my laptop. You hear it? Sounds like a lawnmower going off. Yeah, it's a fan. I think there's something wrong with the fan. So 
I'm gonna take it down to a buddy of mine. He's gonna crack it open like an oyster. He's gonna go inside and fix it. And I think, hold on for a minute, guys. I'm so sorry. I heard this buzzing sound. I think I knocked out the cable to my sound bar. You're gonna hear a blah, blah, blah. There we go. There we go. Cable back in. Little technical difficulties that pop up in my day. So, yeah. That just gives you an understanding on on our technology right there. I'm just going to show you a little more. So mind you, this for me in my basement, this is everyday lighting. This is everyday lighting in my basement. Without spotlights, without everything else, this is everyday lighting. Man, that's my internet being chewed up like that. All right, there we go. We just leave it on there. All right, so right here, this is my everyday lighting in my environment. Now, mind you, like I said, high contrast screen is going to give you a better uh, uh, image because, like I said, it's, it's a darker screen paint. But next to our screen, the 47AG, it just can't hold a candle to it. And this is pretty much what you're getting. So it doesn't make a difference if you use a 4200 lumen projector, 5000, 6000. If you put a, you put a 47AG, Future Tech, next to a 4200 lumen projector, it's pretty much going to crush the other screen with no problem. Now, if it's doing this on 2500 lumens on my Casio, imagine what it's going to do with a high caliper projector. But like I said, 11 feet away at 4200 lumens in the dark. Come on, that's, that's like too easy. That's really easy. <laughs> that's that's kind of like, that's like being a sniper. And your targets are just painted in all orange with giant bullseye and a giant hat with a huge massive target over top of it. It's just too easy. It's too easy. That's my hand moving in front of the whatchamacall. But it's, it's just too easy. Alright. Let's move on from there. When I do, I'll put it real quick. When I do the immerse, one punch right there. When I do the immerse, so I get to hear that grinding sound of my laptop. But when I do the immerse, screen my immerse is over here right my projector sits back 17 feet at 2500 lumens away from the immerse and, a, and, 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 and like I said in a we do it in a movie setting because that's what the design for immerse are designed for movie screens but like I said just look at this okay guys I'm gonna call this short for my time runs on my camera I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Witch Technology Screens using smart technology gain hope you enjoyed the video demonstration you want information on the 47 AG uh, that is available on our uh, Fusion Silver Crystal Vision website. All the information is at the bottom of the description. Um, when it comes to the Immerse screens, or on the Crystal Witch Technology Screen Paint website. Just to let you know, we will be dropping the price on the Platinum 4K, the Silver Ultimate 4K Cinema, and uh, the Immerse screens. I know they just came out, but we just with customer appreciation, we're going to bring the blackout cloth down a little bit lower for you guys. Uh, make it a little bit more affordable. And just to add real quick, the blackout cloth does come with free worldwide shipping, size is available will be a hundred inch to a hundred and twenty inch thank you all for watching